What ho, ladies and gents! Welcome back to Skyborn! Where we're in a forest doing a thing after the... Yes, it was the angst episode last time, I believe. Now it's time for the shiny thing episode. Because we're here to get a shiny thing. Possibly some flowers. Yes. This... Considering this is the forest that's meant to be terrifying, it's quite pretty. On the other hand, what the crap is that? Hello, Vera. Hello, Vera. That don't look like no hello, Vera tip me. Looks like a dead thing. Yeah, totally. Yeah, still not scared of these monsters. Bracker, bracker. Ooh! They did minor damage. AoE though, which is kind of cool. It does add in the uh, debuff. So yeah, those are kind of cool as support mobs, as it were. Nice idea. Didn't achieve anything, but it's a nice idea, you know? It could be nasty if they turned up as part of a boss fight or something, as well. But... Ooh, purple tree. Ah, screw it, I can't be bothered going back from murder. Da da dee. Oh, get. Am I in some kind of hover forest? Is that what's going on here? Oh, Bennett. Alright. Yeah, sure, Nimp. Let's get into a fight. Demon delivery server. Ah! Oh no, that's still not really a problem. Uh... Ah! Go for the big bugger. Come here, eh? Where? Oh, you bastard. Oh, you are a proper support mob, aren't you? Did you do the healing? Ooh, I like that. That's that's quite nice, actually. By the way, you know you like emulating. Yes, just just saying. Ooh, level up. Death, good thing. Hmm, I'm guessing I have to go in there. Right. Oh, I found a hedge. I got levels. Yay. Hmm. Yes, if I remember correctly, the actual mission for this was... Oh yeah, that was it. It was to find the ether fuel, wasn't it? Just totally not a drug. Do I just... I meant to go up here and walk in the... Uh, I've gone backwards, have I? No. Definitely getting higher up. Quite concerning. Yeah, yeah, murderers don't care. Sorry. Right. Ooh, milk. What's a lake full of milk? Mmm, milk. Nyan, nyan, nyan. Bhutan. Press Bhutan. Get attacked by demon dogs. Eh. Kill the healer. Yep, definitely killed the healer. Eh. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Right. Oh, there's another one there. Okay, <laughs> I didn't see the other one. Didn't see it to the uh, blob. Bracker, bracker. Hmm. Ow. Yeah, as well. And that's that day. Ooh, level up. And a potion. Oh, it's just... Ugh. Right. There we Okay, now it's just around regular style random encounters. Unless I didn't see the imp thing. Ooh. You look scary. I'm gonna kill you. Chlorophyll. Kale's on one. Gear off you. Right. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna cast I just get a bit of healing on. 
Missile range. Huh? Yeah. Mint jelly. Mmm, mint. Oh, and that jelly made of mint. That that sounds a bit odd. Not sure if that'd work that well. But I do like mint. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's perfect. I want, to ex I want to continue the storyline. Advance the plot and shiz. I thought I'd just find a little starry thing and go, oh, I found a little starry thing. Well, it's there. Might as well. Yay, whatever. Looked at shrub. Went up level. What's that? Quite a nice tree. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure how relevant this is. Oh god, it's a maze, isn't it? Ooh. But wait a minute. Isn't that a shrub? Well, root system or something. Why is there... Well, actually, actually there could be gold in the root system because it could have dug it up and then the roots pushed it upwards, I suppose. That's not as ridiculous as your first seems. Still a bit weird, though. Well, like, still a bit weird. Ooh, another milk lake. Oh, I do like milk lakes. Oh, lovely bit of milk. Oh, some more gold in the wall. Yeah. Yeah, but presumably that means there'll be a forge nearby. Oh, yeah, it was in the kitchen, wasn't it? Because that's completely normal, having an anvil in your kitchen. Can I open this? Found the yellow... Oh. Hello. Not quite pretty. Where am I, yellow switch? Ugh. Can't we just blow up the door or something? Grumble, grumble. Now I've got more patina. Yes. More platinum at all. Good set. It's awful. No. Uh -huh. uh. Let me guess, find the blue button. Well, there's one button. Face. There better be something worth it for this. Oy vey. I mean, admittedly, we are looking for the drug fuel. So there's something, you know, so we can have our drug-powered robot. Because nothing can go wrong with that. Because if there's one thing that Robocop 2 taught us, is that drug fueled robots cannot go wrong. Right. Ah. Oh. Ace of Spades! Ace of Spades! Still not very helpful. Um, yeah. What's up here again? Ah. Oh. Found more milk. I don't know what milk looks like. Hey! Yay, this is what milk looks like. This is old. Doesn't go anywhere. What's this here? Here's Street. Oh, bugger off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, blood sucks. Die, you bastards. I don't even know what I did then. As long as it involved someone getting murdered, it wasn't me, then I'm fine. Kill the jelly. Kill the jelly. Yes, that's what you get for causing constipation if you eat too much or something. I'm bloody no, I don't even like jelly. Blah blah blue. Oh god. Am I going the wrong way now or something? I may have stopped caring. I'm hoping this maze like headbutt the button style of doing things isn't going to be a common theme for this game. Otherwise, it might take a hell of a lot longer than is necessary. It's like in the old Tomb Raider games when people go on uh, when they refer to puzzle solving when it's actually just a game of hunt the switch. Oh god, never liked those games. 
Well, I pressed a button and got something I don't actually need, so presumably there might be something else useful in this direction. Never know. We can, but hope. Hope and wish. I get mildly dizzy from the way the screen moves. Anything down here? No. Uh, no, it's just the thing that needs a blue switch. Uh. Bit cool, really, having that yellow switch. Ah, there's the blue switch, right. Uh. Kill that. Right. You, hit that. Hang on with it. Hang on with it. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the lightning! Oh, I forgot it blinds it. <laughs> bracker, bracker. Right. Alright, click. Alright. <sighs> Go on, be something relevant. Give me a massive dungeon. Yep, there's a massive dungeon in this tiny room. Oh my! Look at this place! It's been going for miles in every direction. It is quite easy to get lost down here, but if you're diligent about remembering landmarks, we have nothing to fear. Say the same as navigating anywhere else, then. Ah, I see. If you keep an eye out for landmarks, you'll get lost less. That's, that's very useful. Yes, thank you. I would never have thought of that myself, you bastard. Yes. These monks have no faces! How do they smell? Uh, to get to the other side. I don't know. Hello. Ye gods! We found the ancient realm of Christianity! Was expecting that. Wait a minute. Alright. So landmarks basically means the floor. Go this way. Go this way to get in here. Right. Okay. Interesting puzzle. Uh, I'm going to assume this is a boss. <laughs> I can assume this massive dragon is a boss of some variety. Maybe he's just called David you have to see. Right? This is as far as I've ever ventured, because there's a giant li Because Fafnir seems to be guarding something of great import. But perhaps now, with allies, I'll have the strength to slay him. Have you tried asking? See, here's the thing, you say. Have you tried just asking the chap? Um, if you're late past. Yes. You see, it just it just seems like the sort of thing that's worth uh, worth thinking of. Yes. Poison bastard. Yes, poison. Make everyone better. Yay. Uh, M A I fortify. Mystic saber. Mm. Mystic saber. Some regen going. For all Bernie, you might as well heal it back. Ah, yeah. Poison nails. Oh, yeah. Fireball. Yeah. That was quite good, actually. Da da da! Hit him, heavy bottle! Oh! Yeah, yeah totally. Uh. Mm. I'm gonna stick that on and yeah. okay maybe I don't have to worry as much about this as I thought judging by the way I'm punching the crap out of it oh. Turns out, shooting people in the face is quite effective. Yay! We killed Fafnir! I think that's actually a bad thing! Yay! I think I've got a bit of equipment there. Oh, wrong button. 
thought so. Hellfire Warglaive. Yes. 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 All right. Is there anything worthwhile in there? What? Is it? You just went in somewhere made of stone. Why is it made of? Right. Whatever. Accept it. And move on. Oh, you're interesting. Yeah, I say it. Oh, listen, have they never seen anything like it, apart from plant pots. I have, and a junk heap. That thing just looks silly. You know, look at these giants, they're nearly seamless. But they can still rotate. Hmm. It looks sad. No, it doesn't. It looks very kind of neutral. Can't really polish it up a bit before it's out. Yeah, giggity. Nope, oh, nope. Mermaster. Ah. At last you have come. Lord, I have awaited this day. Days? What day is that? Wednesday. An Earth child has returned. Why does it look at me like that? My guess is that this used to be owned by elves, you idiot. Time has passed. I must tell you of your kind, Earth child. But I don't have a child. No, not anymore. I ate them all. Flashback, 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 flashback. Flashback. Watch this land floated high above the surface. It was home to a race known as the Earth Fae. Yes. And apparently was entirely in sepia. They were a very people. Some transient, some eternal. Some playful, some terrible. Yep, definitely fae. These were the world, the Earth's own children, the first to be born unto this world. And some of them look like badgers. Hmm. In time, a younger race followed. Those who call themselves humans. The Fey watched humans from afar as the young race made war and shed the blood of its own kind, yet continued to advance. That such flawed creatures could flourish, both astonish and frighten the ever unchanging fae. <laughs> the fae saw humans forge the very bones of the earth into tools, and machines which did their bidding, so they stole the idea and used magic instead of science. Envious of their creations, the fae gave life to the first of their servants, golems. Modelled after human creations, but powered by fey magic. While strong and obedient, these possessed only an imitation of true intelligence. I'm actually an idiot. It was not long before the fey developed a more ambitious design. They lured humans from their homes of spells of glamour, and poured fey magic into their souls and bodies reforming them in accordance with their own desires. Thus, a new race, Skyborn. <laughs> Look, <laughs> so dramatic, ominous, foreboding, smiley faces. These the Fae deem superior to all but themselves. The young Skyborn worshipped the Fae in turn, and delighted their creators with their lively intellect and passion. Then angry face happened. The winged Skyborn, however, were still humans in part. As they grew in number and in power, they grew restless. They envied the freedom of the true humans, and began to resent their Fae masters. So they burned all the shit they could. The Skyborn's discontent grew. One day, they unleashed their frustration upon a human settlement, destroying it utterly. In doing so, they realized the full extent of their own power. 
the bloodlust of the Skyborn, once awakened, could not be sated. They were far too powerful to be ruled, and they turned on their creators. The Fae realized their mistake too late. In their pride, they had given birth to their own demise. Explodey dragon thing! Not even the Fey Lord Qualon could stop the slaughter. With Qualon's defeat, the magic of the Fey Lands bled out and sank beneath the clouds. And that has been the end of the race known as Fey. Until now. Dun dun dun! I have waited ages to impart that story. Should the earthen fay come once again? Now my mission is complete. Boom! Right, thank you, that. I wish you well, Earth Child. Boom! Everybody dies. Who? It's gone. So I'm guessing ether fuel is the magic fuel used by the Fae. I, I've never heard any of this. Nor I. That story. It disturbs me. Besides, these, these ruins must be hundreds of years old. I wonder how long, long ago all that took place. Hundreds? Hundreds? If you look at the frickin' vines, it's older than that, you mad bastard. Ugh. Hey, is that all you lot can see? Jaska. Hug, I think. Jaska. I'm so, I'm so sorry. My, my child. I can. This just proves how despicable people can be. Both Skyborn and human. That's not what I meant. Don't you see? I have a child. All my life I believed I was some kind of horrible accident. But oh, that I'm actually be something. It's more than I've ever dared to hope for. D -d -d you really have lived in a cave, never speaking to anyone ever, haven't you? Right, so uh, I'm happy for you, you mad child. Thank you. If you're a fae, then you could be a millennia old for all I bleed now. And if you lived in a cave, you probably wouldn't have noticed the time going past yourself. Ugh. I feel... Uh, I feel a great shame. I had no idea of these crimes my ancestors committed against yours. Well, the were there. You didn't fail at all, sound. The would be very happy if you could refrain from calling me a monster from now on. Of course. This is quite fascinating and everything, but there's a giant glowing crystal begging to be investigated. Let's give it a poke. Ah, damn right. Give it a kick and see what happens. Yes. Pokey pokey. Well, look at where my gears are reacting to this thing. I've never seen this before. If everything the Golem said is true, these constructs must have been fueled by fey magic. Forgive my technological ignorance, Claret, but I think you may have found what you're looking for. Damn you straight. Give me a second. I have to fit this massive crystal into a tiny bag. Eve of Yule! Yay! Now oh, I'm going to have to talk to you, aren't I? Uh, uh, uh. I'm stuck by a shrub! Damn it, Corwin! Chaska's so, so different. Corwin, there's no need to get around pointing it out. This is very impolite. I, I just meant she's... You can. She's something else. Well, yes, yeah, she's a bloody fair, you idiot. You want to talk? Ugh, never mind. Right. I don't want to be a bloody idiot. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Right. Oh. oh. Can I just kick you out of the way? Let's go to the head, right over to the right, a new path opened up for us. It should be safe out there. I noticed I have eyes. <sighs> right. <sighs> Jump in the fey pool, go home, right? Jump, yes. Right. Off we go. Yes. Into the darkness beneath. Well, uh, thanks for your help. I, I don't think we could have made it without you. We needed someone to soak up a few hits. Your skills were great help, I must admit. 
forgive my solicitude, but I feel compelled to travel with you, if you would have me. You want to come with us? I do. In our short time together, I've already learned more than I ever did on my own. And I believe your chassis may be the key. To what? I'm not yet certain. Yes, well, I, I can add this is a horrible idea. You do remember who our enemies are, right? Dad, Dad is not on their side, you fool! That doesn't mean we can trust her. Have you seen those big blue wings? She's skyborne. Hmm. And you complain about their attitudes. Elder, uh, before you join us, you should know that we're planning on, a, on breaking into a high-level prison, freeing the half-breeds that the Skyborn have captured. Ugh, now you've done it. Half-breeds? Level four. I don't even think that you would have any sympathy. There, there are few enough half-breeds to make the matter insignificant, free or not. They're evidence of greatly shameful acts, of course. There's never be, and they'd never be accepted in the Skyborn society. If they're so insignificant, why does Skyborn mean hunting them down so ruthlessly? That I do not know. That's odd. I sooner get to grind them up into a powder and use them as a fuel source. That's the sort of thing that these evil bastards do. Well, Elder, if you're going to be joining us, I ask you to promise one thing. You must never reveal anything to the Skyborn. Beyond that, it's up to you whether you want to help us or not. You have my solemn oath. It is obvious that my race arouses your suspicions, and rightly so. However, consider the advantage you now have with me at your side. More of them will listen to you now than wouldn't before. Good enough, Elder. Yes, there. Now we've got the fuel. If you all are mentioning to get to work, let's head back to my shop in the industrial district. By taking the long way round. Uh, squirrels! Squirrels bleeding everywhere. Bloody squirrels. Right. Let's head out of this vaguely dramatically named area and to the north. The north of Nordenwald. Yes, that makes total sense. Don't think about it too hard. Right. Where's the way in? Where's the inn? There's the inn. Alright, I found the inn. Alright. By the power of the Jewish faith, we go north! And we appear here. 